Making Sense of Sense Technology Integration Lesson Plan A little background information of this lesson plan is that it is a second grade math lesson. It will take about 60 minutes to complete, but you want to make sure that you build a break in the middle of that for your students. Um, some materials that you need are paper money, you'll need um, plastic coins like pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters, an anchor chart and markers. Um, you can use iPads or computers, you'll need a projector and a transparency. The standard that I am using for this is use geometry and measurement and use time and money in real world and mathematical situations. The standard is 2.3.3.2. The students will identify pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. They'll find the value of a group of coins and determine combinations of coins that equal a given amount. So for example, 50 cents can be made up of two quarters or four quarters and two nickels. Um, so that's just a few examples of that. An outline of my lesson plan is first I will be asking students what they already know about coins and dollar bills. I will then play a little YouTube video called Coins and it's just a fun and catchy song that gets students excited to learn about coins. Um, and then next as a class we'll create an anchor ch chart of information about coins. Um, so for example for a penny we'll talk about a penny is worth one cent it can be written in many different ways. Um, we could say that President Lincoln is on the front of the penny and the Lincoln Memorial is on the back of the penny. Um, then you can say a cent is one one hundredth of a dollar and you can say that 100 pennies would equal one dollar. So then after we do that, I as a teacher will demonstrate how to count coins and combine coins in front of the whole class. Next, the class and I will together um, practice combining coins um, and figure out different ways that coins can add up to a dollar. And then I will have my students play um, an online interactive game called Learning Coins. This just gives them more practice with sorting, sorting coins and grouping them and um, combining them to make a certain change. And then after they spend some time doing that, I'll have an assessment using Socrative and then that will give me the last step, which is feedback. So this is just the technology that will be used during this lesson plan. We have YouTube, we have iPads, we have the abc.com, and Socrative. So for YouTube, they'll be watching a video called Coins. It's a catchy song, as I mentioned earlier. Um, and a teacher will use a computer to project the video on the front board. Next, we have abc.com. It's an easy website to use with a simple design. Students can help each other on this website. Um, Learning Coins is an educational activity that introduces elementary age students to U.S. coins and the dollar bill. Um, coins are introduced to children with an audio support and interactive activities. And then some of the activities include sorting coins and combining coins to make $1, $10, and $100. The last um, technology tool that I'll be using is Socrative. I'll be using it in my formative assessment. It's not going to be graded, but it just allows me for um, immediate feedback of my students' results. And based on those results of the lesson, I will determine if we can move on to the next content or if we need to go back and, re um, and return to a concept. And students will use iPads to complete this. It's just six multiple choice questions. Um, and then lastly, they'll use an exit ticket before they leave where they will answer how well did you understand today's material and they can select from totally got it, pretty well, not very well, or not at all. So why will I use this technology? Um, it's a way that I can see my students' understanding of the material of the lesson plan right after the lesson plan ends. Um, and I can ask how students feel during the lesson plan if they feel comfortable moving on. Um, I'll use technology to present new material to students in an interactive and engaging way. Kids love using technology, especially for math, to make the lesson more fun. And I want my students not to just be in their desks, but moving around and working with peers. And I want my classroom to be a place where students want and love to learn. So that is my lesson plan.